used to be a nice place to come to back in the day. I mean, they used to have a Disney store. They used to have a Disney store up there. Uh, when they first opened this mall, this mall was jumping. I mean, it was like something like, like a star on the city, right? But now it's not, man. This right here, right over there, y'all see that? Let me, let me show y'all right quick. Let me show y'all right quick. Right behind me, right there. That used to be, that used to be the WB store. That used to be the Warner Brothers store, right there. But right here, the Sweet Factory, that's closed. Uh, Victoria's Secrets upstairs, that's closed. I mean, it's, it's becoming to be like Randall Park Mall now. transfer of power retail action, and many other types of action from the central city to the southeast part of Cleveland. And we are not making statements today to discredit downtown. However, I believe that after today, the forces that want to keep downtown Cleveland intact had better get on their horse and start writing years ago i i had my favorite hangout in uh cleveland well north south whatever of cleveland and it was um it was my favorite saturday hangout i i used to come out to this place every saturday from the time they open until the time they you know what i'm saying and if you guys ain't hip to randall park mall man you know that that was a that was a be all end all mall too. The cookie spot right here is closed, man. It's it's just disheartening. You know, shoes and jewelry and and if you're into gambling, the casino. That's about it. I mean, everybody everybody left. I mean, it's it's virtually empty in here. You know, unless you like shoes, jewelry, and cell phones. But they got they got like a they got like a villa store in here, but I'm a big guy. I can't wear those clothes. Don't forget your card. What what is this joint? What is that? Playball? Let me stop right there, man. Hold up. Alright, so I was, I went to the, to that joint right there, that play ball, and I saw those two caps, the, the purple and white Indians joint and that Chicago joint, and wonder why I got fake going across the screen is because I'm about to tell you guys later in the video that I took them home and found out that they was fake so i came back to the store unfortunately i didn't get footage between the conversation between me and the guy but basically what he was saying was that they wasn't fake and i didn't know what i was talking about now me being a connoisseur of hats and you guys know my hat collection is 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 tight I know what I know about real and fake hats. Now, at the time when I was picking those up, I really didn't pay too much attention to the details. But as you guys will find out a little bit later, I did. 
Let's continue. Oh, right there. That's what I'm coming out of. Hold up. Let's fast forward to when I came back. And I'm about to show you guys the real from the fake or the fake from the real. Let's fast forward. All right. So I went home right quick. And uh, checked out my hats. <sighs> Brother man's kind of salty right now. You know what I'm saying? Usually, like I said, my 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 place is my my place is lids, man. But uh, the joints, the joints not real. Let's uh let's go down here and talk to my man about that. All right, I went in there and I I saw him sitting down and he goes, "Hey, how can I help you?" I was like, uh, "I was like, look, bro, uh, me, you know, I was like, I ain't trying to, you know, be mean or nothing like that, but I said these hats right here is not real." And he goes, "This is not real. What are you talking about? It's not real." I was like, "It's not real, man." I said, "Let me show you right quick." I said, "New air." I I even brought one of my hats. That's that's why I was telling him. I said, New Era, I said, you see these New Era right here where it says 5950 and the New Era tag? I said, at the end of it, it got R on there, which means registered trademark. I said, all of the New Era hats is stitched in just like that. I said, this hat that you sold me, it has faded New Era 5950 on the side and on, on, on the side of them, it's got TM. And I said, you know, all of the 50, I said, all of the new era 5950s is not tagged like that. I said, as you can see on the back, you know, they're black labels. All of the, all of the new era caps are black labels. I said, this is blue. I said, none of the new era caps is blue. Unless it's a, uh, unless it's a, um, uh, an exclusive hat or anything like that, but other than that, for their regular joints, it's 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 all black. So he goes, well, the purple and white Indians is for real, for real, because that one's a custom made hat. I was like, well, okay, I can understand if that's a custom made hat, but still, even though custom made hats, new era tags are not faded. And they all come with R's on the side of it, which means it's registered trademark. He was like, well, he was like, well, look, what, what you want to do? I was like, look, man, I, I just want my cheese back. Back at the joint. So I had to go back over there and refund that. But let me let me let me tell you guys how you could tell right quick where um and I a newer hat is an official hat. Went and talked to the old boy, you know, tried to tell him that, you know, the joints wasn't wasn't tight, you know what I'm saying? Which which it wasn't, but I'm about to show you guys right quick how you can actually tell when a when a joint is tight is not. So here I am out here at Minor Mall. At the lids right there. Now we about to go in here. And I'm about to pick up my hat. And I'm about to let you guys know what I was talking about. I'm here with Dave. Alright. Now. I got a. I got a question for you. How can you tell these joints. From the real. From the fake. What to look out for. There's something specific under the bill. I think it's supposed to be six or seven under the bill, these lines. Mm -hmm. That's how you can tell they're real. If mm -hmm. there's more or less fake, um, that's really the only one that I'm aware of, to be honest with you. Right. It's, it's no thing getting the hat. You know what I'm saying? But if want I, I, want, I want the real joint. And the right, right. And the right price. You know what I'm saying? If, you're gonna, if I want to pay, if I want to get a bootleg, then let me, get, let me pay bootleg prices. With you, on that. <laughs> you know, 
And I, I don't want to play. I don't want to pay new era prices for a bootleg hat. There you have it, lids here at Minner Mall. So we went over everything on the details on what to look for for a real versus fake new era hat. So, like I said, when you guys go and buy your joints, you know what I'm saying? Definitely be on the lookout for it. Make sure that you, make sure that you, you know, pay attention to the, pay attention to detail. That's, that's how you're going to know the difference between the real and the fake, is that you pay attention to detail. When you pay attention to detail, then that's when you know that you got the real thing. You know what I'm saying? Again, like I said, make sure you check out all the tags. Make sure you check out all the stitching and all like that. Because the, the tags on the real joints, the tags on the real joints is going to look like this. This the tags on the real joints. It's going to look just like that. It's going to look just like that. But the new error with the R on there and the 7 right there. That's how it's going to look. Also, you also can tell that this is the real joint because, hold on, the new era right here, hold on, let it focus in, focus in, that new era right there, it has the R. You, you can't really see it, but it has, the, it has the R right there. The new era right here on the back tab has the wash tag on there and the new era flag is black and the new era writing is on the white all right with the r right there which means register trademark so that's how you guys gonna know that you got the real joints from the fake ones you know what i'm saying it's like i said before if you're gonna pay if you're gonna if you're gonna get a bootleg hat pay bootleg prices you know what i'm saying don't 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 get a bootleg hat